suspense is killing everybody. I'm all set. Do my hair a little different. I want it to look a little different since today is quite special. I don't even know where my purse is. It's over there. To head it's on out. the couch. Okay. Security check number one. First down, second to go. <laughs> this one's a little more hardcore. The guys look scarier over here. Another check. We passed this one too. That was number three. Our first impression of the house. White House Library, and I was informed that this is where President Obama fills out his March Madness bracket. So as usual, I'm the only guy here, except I, just, I do see one other guy, he's the only guy videotaping. Um, anyways. You're all done sleeping? Oh, wake, wake up! up! Wake up! We're not home yet! It's not nap time yet! Why are you so tired all of a sudden, girl? Apple juice. Ow! <laughs> She's out! How cold this girl? Kira no. no. said, Mia, wake up! Okay, no, wait. Wake up, Mia! No, it's not night! It's not night night time yet! No, 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 Mia! You want some tea? Mia needs some espresso! I bumped into the royal family of YouTube oh, no. oh, oh, oh. at the White House. I bought a coat yesterday that had a flag pin on it. Just by yeah. coincidence, we were on a layover in Atlanta and I needed a coat and I found this one and it had an American flag on it. I was like, Perfect. It came with the it coat? Did. Like I pulled it off the thing, I was like, I gotta get this one. It has a freaking <laughs> flag pin on it. I love your outfit. Thank you. This I got in a random store in LA called Honey. Oh, like a boutique? Yeah. This is Tricks and that's a tricks and shirt. I bought one of your shirts. Oh, you the you have one? Thank you. you. And you have yeah. our oh, you sticker on have water bottle. I People do. tweet me all the time. No, but I love that shirt. It's the most comfortable. Is it already on the yep. website? Yeah, no, we'll you see don't you have, have to No, I want to support you. Well, of course, Shade Hard, check them out. I'm going to go get an Easter egg. They, right. They're talking about this Easter egg. Yeah. Easter egg roll, yeah. So these are the White House eggs <laughs> everyone's talking about. I missed the cooking segment because I was buying the eggs. The dogs even have their own Easter egg. Oh my gosh, the suspense. They got really quiet really quickly. Yeah. The suspense is killing everybody. I'm going to try to snap it for you guys. Hey. The grand doors. <laughs> So I rolled up my sleeves, went home, did some homework, and I searched for obviously simple, affordable approaches and started making some changes. For starters, I tried to cook more. 
Uh, nothing crazy, just a few more home cooked dinners each week, maybe baked chicken on Monday, pasta and salad on Wednesday, and I always try to make a nice Sunday dinner that would uh, provide leftovers for the week. Instead of cookies and chips and snacks and sugary drinks, we switched to fruit and string cheese and lots of water. We stuck with it. And eventually, uh, our kids adjusted. Their palates actually changed, and they got used to eating food that wasn't drenched in sugar, salt, and fat. And at our next checkup, everything was back to normal. And our pediatrician was amazed. He asked me, he said, what did you all do? And he wasn't asking hypothetically. Uh, he really wanted to know how we could able to turn things around so quickly because he told me that in his practice, he was seeing an increase in the number of families struggling with the exact same problem. So fast forward to a couple of years later when Barack was first elected president and I had to figure out what was I going to do with this first lady. And I knew I wanted to work on causes that were personal to me, uh, something that I cared deeply about. And I thought back to my family's experience with healthy eating and the question that our doctor had asked us. That's when I decided that let's do would be my attempt to help other families across this country answer that same question. And that's really the point of let's move. To try to make things easier for parents who are doing everything they can to keep their kids healthy. Why would we look at our kids and go, hey, you don't like it, you're not eating. As adults, we get to and have to make the final call. And honestly, that was just about the only thing I had going for me back when I changed my own family's diet. My girls were little then. <laughs> they couldn't drive. <laughs> they didn't have jobs. So they didn't have any money. <laughs> so they had to eat the food that I bought them. And I was the one who decided what to buy at the grocery store. And that's really our secret weapon. As parents, we decide where to spend our money. And believe it or not, we truly have the power to control the marketplace for food in this country. And just think about it. All these healthier, better food products that we're seeing on the shelf now, they didn't just come out of nowhere. Fast food places didn't just randomly decide to add apple slices and skin milk to their kids' meals. So these products were developed because we demanded them. And I know changing habits and routines is not easy. I know there are times when you don't feel like fighting those food battles with your kids. But I can tell you from my own experience that when you start young with your kids and you keep at it, eventually you reap the rewards. So touching for Michelle Obama. Like, I started tearing. Really? Like, her, well, her message came from the heart, and you could tell it was so genuine. You took a towel from the bathroom. Oh my gosh, that's official. It's in my Snapchat, Benjamin TV. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for anybody in stilettos right now. I was hoping to shoot some hoops with a mom. <laughs> Benji's turf. They've got kale, broccoli around here, all kinds of leafy greens. Because I love food, and gardening is like the best way to get the most local, most fresh stuff, I'm actually surprised how small it is. If I was older, had no kids, and if you wanted to, I would become the gardener in, here. I believe it. And I would just like garden for the first family, and I would be so happy. put us in one of their rooms oh, while you yes. the head gardener. Great idea. Michelle Obama, did you hear that? Or whoever will be the next president. Oh, yeah. And I got like... The veteran of law. I remember, you know, whenever when I hit a million subscribers, for instance, people were like, when are you going to get a TV show? I was like, I don't want a TV show. I want to be a pioneer in a new thing. So vlogging is the future, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, Apple, why don't you change your freaking iPhones to autocorrect to not blog. Vlog. Vlog. Oh, totally. It's a thing now. A handful of YouTubers in this big group of bloggers. So, yeah. White House, come on, invite some more YouTubers. By the way, Anthony Robbins? Dude. Seriously? Life-changing weekend. That dude is amazing. Yes.
What is your blog? Or blog? Blog. Oh, yeah, both, I guess. I'm on YouTube, sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, my blog is for hatsandfrugal.com. We talk about our family life. We teach people how to be a baller on a budget. We got out of a lot of debt, so we talked about that. But we have fun. Awesome. Spend a lot of money. And can I celebrate your 11 years of marriage? 11 years. Okay, first of all, were you married when you were 12 or something? Yeah, child bride. <laughs> What's your secret? Coconut oil. Oh. Really? Truthfully, that's my... I, I oil pull. I don't know if you know about that. I oil pull with it. What does that mean? It's where It sounds gross, but you basically chew coconut oil in your mouth for about 15 minutes every day. It pulls all the toxins out of your body. No. It keeps your teeth nice, but it actually pulls the toxins out. And then I rub it all over my body because it's <laughs> coconut oil. I want to be them right now. Awesome. Admiring how beautiful you are, honey. You're so like your makeup is on fleek. <laughs> like the lighting in here makes you look like you should be a skincare model or something. That is so sweet. Seriously. Yeah. And it was recommended from a local. Here. Uh -huh. So thanks for oh, recommending. Not only was it recommended from a local, our taxi uh, driver was Indian. He overheard us and he goes, "Oh, that's a good one." We're having some baby spinach. <laughs> And this is cauliflower. FaceTiming with the girls, who we really, really miss. We got three types of roti. This is a mint, onion, sage, and a regular. We got tikka masala, the national dish of England. That was hella good. And then a side of this lentil stuff. Was it dead? That was a lot of food. A lot. Mm. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, that's very flattering, thank you. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Rearranging a few things before our flight. It's time to say goodbye to DC. We were asleep on the car ride here. We're just so exhausted. But I'm sure we'll be well rested by the time we get home. Especially since we're three hours ahead here. We'll have plenty of time to catch up on rest. But I'm just really looking forward to hugging my girls. Oh man, they're gonna be sleeping by the time we get home. That sucks. Wow. In this temple, as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved, the union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. I don't think there's anybody in the United States that has a bigger monument for themselves. Wow. No one. Big fail, super fail. <laughs> What an honor to be in front of President Lincoln. <laughs> She's being total Instagram husband. Stop. Uh. It's really nice.